Hey everybody, Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project. It is so cold outside, but so beautiful this morning. Looking out my passive solar window into my bird world. <laughs> And um, I have a, I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. And he's way bigger than he looks, but um, I'm pretty sure he's a Cooper Hawk. And um, he, I think, was a baby last year because he showed up here living in the trees here um, in fall. So he probably, you know, was kicked out and had to find his own territory. And sometimes I think he struggles. And if it rains a lot, I'll look outside and he's soaking wet, f trying to fluff up. So early on in the winter, he didn't really know how to, how to kind of, you know, take shelter, so to speak. So he's getting better. He's, you know, he's getting his, you know he's figuring it out this year he'll probably be looking for a chiquita banana he'll probably you know gonna be looking for a girlfriend got all my little bird babies out feeding them um, the best you know wild bird food I can find for them and uh, they were super happy to get some food this morning because they were it was cold I think it was like five degrees here and then, you know, just had, um, my cold water didn't freeze, but my hot water pipe froze a little bit. I mean, it's, it is, uh, draining, but yeah, so I, it's, uh, the hot water heater is kind of more outside and more exposed. And I just think that, you know, it's, uh, Yeah. And those pipes run along the coldest part of the house that don't really get sunlight and doesn't really warm up um, in the wintertime. It's nice in the summertime because it's it stays cooler out there, but um, in the wintertime it's a little bit rough. So, anyway, I just wanted to talk about yesterday. And, um, you know, I had like several years of just, you know, constant stress. I think like, I mean, it kind of really erupted. I mean, it was all like Pluto, um, conjunct sun, but it also conjuncted a whole bunch of other planets that I have in Sag, my stellium. Um, and, uh. So it was pretty epic, and I think the worst section is, you know, as as Pluto approached my son for, like, full conjunction, and that would have been, like, 2008, I think, or something like that, 2000, well, anyway, yeah, the real kind of craziness, you know, was started in 2000 it was pretty crazy but I the impact to the sun was really crazy and I would say that started about 2006 and then you know just been riding it out it's a tidal wave that I've just been surfing and then there's all these obstacles, you know, in the tidal wave. So sometimes you fall off and you've got to, like, try to get back up on that board and, you know, keep going. But the last uh, two years, like, the big thing that I've just really been focusing in on is kind of getting my, having so much crazy traumatic stuff, health, financial, just, you know, the gamut. My whole goal is to just, you know, focus on getting my mind stable. 
So no matter what's going on, like the mind is calm. And if the mind is not calm, kind of breathing it into calmness and taking kind of a break um, to be able to do that. So yesterday, I wanted to talk about yesterday, was like the coolest um, event that I've had really in a super long time. And a lot of the teachers I've had, a lot of the amazing spiritual teachers I've had, you know, have always said, you know, when, or like even the Hopi have a statement, something it goes like, when the war inside of you ends, the war outside of you will end. You know, when the chaos inside subsides, the chaos outside of you will subside. Even if the whole world is crazy. Um, and so yesterday I got, you know, I got a projection, an outer world projection on where I'm at with quieting my mind and keeping my mind as quiet and focused and grounded as possible. So I have to do the laundromat and sometimes the laundromat here is so crazy. Like in the summertime, we have huge amounts of um, immigrant workers and um, they're, you know, doing a lot of the agricultural stuff here. And, and sometimes you can't get into the laundromat at all, like during the summer and the fall. So yesterday I went to the laundromat and there were like five people in there and there were most of the washers were, you know, full people had stuff in the dryer. Um, but it, there was silence. Not one person said a thing. Not one person was on their phone. Not one person was nervous. Not one person was jiggy. Um, it, there was like nothing. Everybody in there was just focused and whether they were putting the laundry in, whether they were folding their laundry, whether they were quietly just, you know, waiting for their laundry. But it was like the most amazing thing. It was like silence in the outside world. And I was just so grateful for that because, you know, when the yelling and screaming and the voices in my head, you know, when that stops, then the projection in the outside world, it all stops. It doesn't exist. And it was just like the most incredible thing to like be there for an hour and a half. And there was just this silence and nobody said a word. Nobody answered a phone. The phone didn't ring. Nobody was on a phone. It was just silence for like the two hours I was there doing laundry. And I have to say it was like the most incredible moment I think I've ever had in my life. Because, you know, when we're in Christ and chaos... Say, you know, I could have, well, I wouldn't have if my mind was crazy. There wouldn't have been that outer silence in, in a public place with people in there. I mean, all you could hear was the hum of the, the washers and the dryers. But, I mean, that was it. That was it for two hours. It was like the most incredible experience. I, I just really, I know it sounds kind of crazy that it was in a laundromat. Um, but it was just, you know, helped me to see that my mind is so much quieter. So if I didn't have a quiet mind, I'd end up going to a laundromat where there's like fighting and arguing and, you know, unsettledness. And so, you know, I didn't know if I was going to do laundry yesterday or not, but it just happened. I had some time and I really needed to get it done. So I just got it done without a lot of him and hawing. And, and then I got to see the projection of the laundromat on my quieted mind. So 
I just wanted to kind of, you know, do a video on that, like how amazing it was to be around other people in complete silence and just going about, you know, routine business in complete silence. It was just like the most amazing, amazing experience. It was like more profound than any ashram or any place that I've ever gone seeking silence. And, you know, one of my favorite places used to be just, you know, going with a friend or two, you know, up into the mountains and snowshoeing the backcountry during a storm, like heavy snow. And the silence, I mean, you just can't even, you can't even believe the silence. So when the mind is clear, heaven is here. Uh, so MC Yogi has a, um, you know, he's the rapper Yogi. And he has a song with another amazing guy that's called Heaven is Here. When the mind is clear, heaven is here. So... Anyway, um, and it's true because you can be in the midst of <laughs> probably shooting and chaos, but when the mind is silenced, when the mind is in silence because it has nothing to think about, nothing to be agitated about, nothing to batter you with, nothing to judge, um, because you're in the present time and the present space, then the world outside of you interacts from that place. And I had confirmation yesterday that that is exactly true. And like, I can deal with the emotional stuff and also the physical stuff, doing a lot of like Qigong to try to, you know, calm that and calm the trauma and drama in the the physical and the emotional and, and doing all this stuff but it really is when you get to the mind and you're sober that's the other thing and you have this clarity and you can quiet it so it becomes so quiet And then it's that mind that really projects crisis and chaos and drama to you. Like, it really draws it in, really mirrors it back to you. So, anyway, it was such an amazing experience. Just wanted to report it. <sighs> so, have a great day, everybody. We're on the downhill into the sunlight. And, um... And the light will start staying lighter, longer during the day. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, so looking forward to moving into that cycle this year with calmness in my mind and uh, peace in my heart and um, trauma and drama released out of my body. And totally connected to the spirit and to the spirit world in a good way. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Oh, also, um, I was on Bill Grant's radio show. I was interviewed Argon um, radio show. And I think that he does a lot of shows on, um, like, green energies or free energy. I think that's kind of his thing, his gig. Anyway, I was on his show, so um, I put, I attached the um, radio show to my blog post, so coe-llc.com, and you will see the blog there, um, and it's the first one, because I haven't posted in a long time, because, you know, it's hard when you don't really have a computer or laptop that you can use, so anyway. That's it. If you want to listen to the show, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.